Back in the 1940s and 50s, Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball's unconventional romance was the talk of the town. Hollywood didn't know what to make of their non-traditional union, and the fact that they were an ethnically mixed couple stirred up quite a bit of controversy. Ball hailed from Jamestown, New York, and Arnaz was a native of Cuba. But despite what people thought about their relationship, this Hollywood power couple couldn't seem to stay apart from each other, even after they eventually divorced. Arnaz was notoriously far from being a saint and was well known for his philandering, but the chemistry he shared with Ball was unmistakable. The show they were most famously associated with was the trailblazing sitcom I Love Lucy, which ran for six hilarious seasons between 1951 and 57. It's considered one of the greatest comedy programs to ever hit the airwaves. Back in September of 2015, Kate Blanchett was announced to star in a biopic film about the classic Hollywood power couple, with actor, screenwriter, and producer Aaron Sorkin slated to write the screenplay. By January 2021, however, Blanchett had backed out of the project, and actress Nicole Kidman had entered into negotiations to replace her. It was then revealed that actor Javier Bardem also began talks to portray Desi Arnaz. Filming began March 29, 2021 in LA. In September of 2021, Sorkin revealed the film had entered into post-production. While being the Ricardos, and especially its casting choices, have stirred up quite a bit of controversy since it was announced that the film was in the works, there is also an equal amount of buzz and excitement about the upcoming offering. Join us as we take a first look at Nicole Kidman as Lucille Ball. We'll also give you a rundown on what we know about the highly anticipated film so far. Nicole Kidman feels honored to portray a legend. Nicole Kidman as Lucille Ball might at first seem like a strange casting choice, but after watching the first trailer, you can begin to see why Sorkin has put so much faith in her. Being the Ricardos is expected to hit theaters on December 10, 2021, an Amazon Prime streaming service on the 21st. It will star Javier Bardem as Desi Arnaz, and Aaron Sorkin will be at the helm of the project as both writer and director. As you might recall, Sorkin was the man behind the camera in last year's critically acclaimed period piece, The Trial of the Chicago 7. Being the Ricardos is set during a week of production of Arnez and Ball's immensely popular 1950s sitcom, I Love Lucy. The film takes a deep dive into their professional and personal relationship, detailing many of their ups and downs. Sorkin also recently revealed the film would feature four musical numbers. In the film's trailer, Kidman as Ball tells the audience she's been paid a fortune to do exactly what she loves to do. She goes on to say she gets to work alongside her husband, whom she says is genuinely impressed by her. Then she wraps up that powerful opening statement by stating all she has to do is kill it for 36 weeks in a row, and then do it all over again the following year. Throughout the 90-second trailer, Kidman's face is mostly obscured, but there's one brief shot of her at the end stomping on a vat of grapes, an ode to a famous scene in the classic Lucy episode, Lucy's Italian Vacation. I Love Lucy's iconic theme music and title cards are also faithfully recreated in the trailer. While Lucy and Desi fans remain divided about their feelings and impressions of the upcoming film, being the Ricardos reportedly has the full approval of the couple's 70-year-old daughter, Lucy Arnaz. In fact, the aging actress made a post on her Instagram stating she felt like the film was astounding. Arnaz went on to explain how she felt like Kidman had successfully captured her mother's soul. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And keep watching to see who else is expected to appear in Being the Ricardos. Kidman has given us a few spoilers. Earlier this year, Kidman sat down with fellow actor Chris Rock for Variety's Actors on Actors program and discussed the prep work that was involved in gearing up for the role. She mentioned that she had to put an incredible amount of time and energy into capturing the heart and spirit of Ball. Kidman explained that Lucille had a very distinct way of speaking, and she had to step out of her comfort zone to embody her accurately. Being the Ricardos isn't just some kind of I Love Lucy reboot, far from it. It's more so about Lucy and Desi's relationship and marriage. Unlike their hit sitcom, Kidman says that Being the Ricardos is going to be a very deep production. Desi and Ball got married in 1940, and they parted ways 20 years later in 1960. 
While their on-screen personas were lighthearted and jovial, behind the scenes their personal lives were pretty tumultuous. But despite their many problems and eventual split, they never once stopped caring for each other and never ceased being a crucial part of each other's lives. Not everyone is thrilled about the film's casting choices. Both Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem's casting came under scrutiny by fans and critics after it was announced they had been selected. In particular, some took issue with the fact that Bardem is Spanish while Arnaz was of Cuban descent. Sorkin addressed these criticisms, however, saying his casting of Kidman and Bardem was so much more about Ball and Arnaz as actors than the characters they played on I Love Lucy. Some people who took issue with those casting choices assumed they had been selected to portray Lucy and Ricky, which makes sense given the film's name. But Sorkin told Entertainment Tonight earlier this year that the film more so focuses on the couple's on and off set relationship when the cameras weren't rolling. The movie will start with a table read on Monday and will cover the events through the week up until the live audience taping on Friday. Thrown into the mix will be several long flashback sequences that will flesh out the story, showing the audience a bit of Ball and Arnez's backstory. At least one of the flashbacks, as revealed by Lucille and Desi's daughter Lucy, will take place in the late 30s, more than a decade before Lucille had become Lucy Ricardo. Lucy got a chance to sit in on the production of the film for a couple days, and she has nothing but praise for Kidman's portrayal of her mother. She described Kidman's performance in nothing short of glowing terms. She praised the actress for her poise and class and was blown away by how she was able to capture the inner workings of her mind in such an accurate and faithful way. The film will be more dramatic than comedic. While the film's premise might not seem immediately very engaging, we do know that in the film, Lucy and Desi will face a crisis of some kind that could potentially end their careers. Beyond that, their marriage will also be put to the test. We also know the film will be more of a drama than comedy. Everyone knows how funny Lucy and her husband could be, and Kidman has expressed her desire to channel Lucille's renowned sense of humor into her performance. But the film is shaping up to be a fairly heavy feature. Kidman told Chris Rock that Lucy and Desi had to contend with many things in their marriage that are still very relevant in today's world. She also had to deal with everything that pretty much every artist has to deal with when pitted against big corporations. No Being the Ricardos' supporting cast While most of the buzz has centered around Kidman and Bardem, they aren't the only gifted actors we know will be in the movie. Oscar award-winning actor J.K. Simmons has been reported to play William Frawley, the actor who originally played Lucy and Desi's next-door neighbor and close friend Fred Mertz. Nina Arianda is also slated to play Vivian Vance, the actress who portrayed Fred Mertz's wife, Ethel. Some outlets have stated Tony Hale will play Jess Oppenheimer, I Love Lucy's executive producer. Alia Shakat, who you might remember from Arrested Development, is also said to be playing Madeline Pugh, one of I Love Lucy's writing partners. A few other names that have been associated with the film are Jake Lacey, best known for playing Pete Miller on the ninth and 10th seasons of The Office, Clark Gregg, the actor who played Agent Phil Coulson in several Marvel films, and Linda Lavin, the actress who played the title character in the sitcom Alice. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about Aaron Sorkin's casting choice of Nicole Kidman to play Lucille Ball? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.